Uh, another episode of As the Beer Swirls. Here uh, we're at Felix Beer Reviews. I'm Dan. Hey, I'm Mike. Uh, listen, I'm just so discount. What are we drinking, Gum Guy? <laughs> I don't know how to deal with this. It's because a special. I'm day scared. Here. FLX. Listen, has me all jumbled. I don't know what's going on. Uh, anyway, what are we drinking, Dan? <laughs> this is from the Cuca. Cuca. Uh, Brewing Company out of Hammondsport, Ooh, Hammondsport. New York. Beautiful. So local FLX action. Indeed. This is their afterburner. This is their habanero ale. Um, How did you do the last time we had a hot beer? Uh, yeah, that was the K2 Scorpion one, right? Something like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so after Burner is Cuca Brewing Company's devilish take on a chili beer. Oh. It is a light blonde ale forged oh. with Pilsner malt, yes. Chinook hops, Done. and roasted habanero peppers, giving it a bold, spicy flavor. Uh, it may not seem like much at first, but be aware the burn grows after each sip. After burner is also a great option to cook with and oh. adding delicious spice to a beer battered fish fry or a hearty chili. Malts, four types, hops, two types, SRM 4.4, IBUs 23. And this That's was. Great amount of information. Yeah. Uh, canned on 166. That's disgusting. Oh. Uh, the 166th yeah. day of the Julian <laughs> calendar. Uh, 4.6 ABV. So, yeah, let's All get right, into it. I'm in, man. Mike, this will be fun. Cute Brewing Company. Yes. We have not had them on the channel before. However, Unfortunate. that's a trick question because they were on a video of Beertuber Palooza. Beertuber Palooza, yes. Because uh, we brought their pumpkin beer. Yep, we brought the pumpkin beer. We brought something else for yeah. uh, Nerd Sense. So, I'm eager to get into this. This was procured at. EJ's Beer Warehouse in Henrietta, in New York. What can't you procure at EJ's Beer Warehouse in Henrietta, New York? Bourbon. That's a shame. <laughs> That's New York's fault. That's, <laughs> That's fault. New, yeah, it's New York's fault. All right, so um, that looks uh, it looks reminiscent of the K two one. So I'm using the, I'm using the K two jalapeno pepper tree light glass thing. It's dope. I'm celebrating our heritage. Other half. Uh, uh, you no, know, it looks apricotty, like a dark kind of dirty orange. Uh, thin film ahead on there. Yeah, I don't know if it. Uh, yeah, I'm sticking around. around. Yeah, you're sticking around. Uh, I'm getting a whiff on this thing. It smells like a pilsner. A lot of pilsner malt in there. It's, it's, it's got this sweetness to it. I get a, a slight peppery. Note, yeah. Like a fresh peppery note. I get pepper jam. Yeah, okay. The sweetness. There, There is. There's, there's like a, a, a jelly sweetness coming through. Bro, you're, you're bang on, man. Uh, the other night we were doing something and Nikki made uh, the crackers. She literally, uh, we got it from Fairport Canal Days. Oh, okay. A bunch of different pepper jellies. Oh, yeah, and yeah. She you puts usually on, get those. Yeah, she yeah. puts on a cracker with some cream cheese, puts the jelly on. Okay. You've done that before. I, yeah. yeah. All right. You want that to is stop? what it. Well, it honestly, it you don't like. You don't really smell. There's no heat apparent. No. It's not like you smell like hot sauce or something. Yeah. Like, you know, Oop, here we go. But yeah, yeah this is going to be a surprise. Mm. Oh yeah. There you go. There's a nice little peppery kick. Almost immediately coming through on the like the back quarter of the palate. Mm. Oh man! So that drinks, it's it's very thin. It drinks almost like a, a orange, peachy Kool Aid, uh, kind of beer. A little bit of like a wheat thin, wheat thin crackeriness to it. But then right on the back corner of my palate is a peppery kick. Mm -hmm. And I think that fresh pepper I was smelling is that flavor is there. Like when you, I think when I when I cut up like a fresh jalapeno. I can taste that back there too. I think it's weirdly, it's a weird tale of two halves. It's like a pilsnery, crackery fruit beer yeah. on the front, and it's peppery on the back. Good beer. Oh, it does build. It just there's that one spot where it keeps building yeah. and adding to it. I enjoy that. It's a. Uh, I mean, I really can't add too much to what you said. It it, it really is. It's it's a it's a nice. Ale and just I don't know. All I can think about is the, like beer battering fish with this. Now I'm like, oh, that'd be really 
Oh, that Dude, would be delicious. Be fucking... Or chili. Yeah, everything they saw on the label, I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is a great cooking beer. Or if you wanted to down this on top of your hot wings. <sighs> mm. We messed up. We should have had a pot of chili going back here, some wings. Yeah. This is this was an outdoor review beer. I'm sorry, Q. Yeah, we we messed did up. a disservice we to this up. beer. Uh, no, it's it really the fact that it's good. <laughs> it, it is very nice and flavorful, and it's just more than a one trick pony, like Mike alluded mm-hmm. to. Mm-hmm. It's not just like here's some pepper and a blonde ale. Like there's a nice complexity and just uh, there's some nice citrus flavors that yep. really bring out that pepper on the back end. Um, I think you really taste the the base beer too, that base blonde, mm-hmm. and it's it's a very well made, just blonde ale. It's got a certain graininess to it, mm-hmm. which, yeah, I think that was that slight wheat thing I, I was getting right there. I'm like, oh, it, I think I think it's very balanced for what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the heat's that's good. yeah, the finish it just it lingers. Mm. We've got to let it linger. Yes, we do. You have been sing songy today so far. I like it. There's a song in his heart. Hasn't been there in a while. He's opening up. It's like a little Casio keyboard he's playing in there. <laughs> well, ironically, I took something that was part of my everyday life, and I took it away for at least four days. And it's a wonder what it does to you. <laughs> it's... Yep. So, no comment. I agree. Um, it, uh, rating. He's talking about me. Yeah. I haven't seen uh, it four days. <laughs> <laughs> What's the rating? Uh, I'm going to give this, uh, I will give it a 3.9. I think it's a very solid beer. Okay. I'll give this a 4 out of 5. All right. I I think if you like a, a moderately spicy beer, um, I would say this. The spice in this is much akin to McDonald's or Wendy's. So when okay. I say that, it's like they come out with these ghost pepper nuggets yeah, yeah. and that stuff really like that. It's like ghost pepper. They're spicy, right? But it's not like if you bit into a habanero or a ghost pepper, right? Or got a, a legit ghost pepper salsa or a hot sauce right. or something, right? But it, it's still spicy, and you get more of the flavor of the pepper than anything else. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shout out viewer of the channel and our friend Alicia, who I'd say is the authority on spicy beers and she likes it yeah. so that's enough for me yeah i think that's you know a, the other thing it's just like habaneros can be really fruity once you get to good uh, habaneros yes yeah. I, I agree i love hab- mango yeah. habaneros probably one of my favorite hot sauce yeah Woo-wee! fire getting hot in here. Awesome. um all right and it's also hot out too so yeah but we're, we're staying cool yeah we're staying cool by downing habanero beer <sighs> we are Idiots. All right. Speaking of cool, we got a link. Didn't tree. Alanis Morissette have a song about that being ironic and stuff? Yeah, but it's all wrong. Oh, okay. It's just unfortunate instances or something. <laughs> Cripes. That seems uh, like forever. Alanis Morissette and Curb Your Enthusiasm. Wonderful episode. Check it out. All right, we're ah, gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Whatever. <laughs>